Okay, I'd like you to meet Curiosa Paravain. That's my avatar in Second Life. So all of my students know me as Curiosa rather than Francesca. Behavioural Studies provides you with both a practical and a theoretical understanding of human behaviour and human interaction, including the mind, personality uh, and identity. And identity is important because it takes a number of different forms, including the body that you walk around in and also how you appear in virtual spaces such as uh, online through MSN on Facebook and in virtual worlds such as Second Life. Behavioural Studies at Monash uh, gives you a really good opportunity to explore some of the different ways um, of studying. It's, it is a lot different and it's a lot more fun than other classes. They do try to have that, that edge that keeps you interested and keeps you wanting to know more and wanting to learn more. We run a unit called Digital Selves and Digital Selves arose in response to a need in the industry for graduates who are ready to hit the ground running in virtual workplaces. More and more large companies such as IBM are bringing colleagues together in virtual environments. So they actually have, uh, they will actually meet together in virtual meeting rooms that look like real life meeting rooms, except it's peopled by 3D representations of staff members. The benefits of working virtually is that you reduce your carbon footprint, so it's a greener way of working, especially when you have a very geographically diverse workforce Rather than flying or driving people into the one spot, they can connect virtually in 3D. Because Digital Selves is conducted entirely online and uh, to a large degree at the student's own pace, students from our international campuses such as South Africa and Malaysia are able to participate in classrooms with their colleagues from the five campuses in Australia. It was a really good way to attend a class because you didn't actually have to be at university. You could be sitting at home in your pyjamas, drinking a cup of coffee um, and still technically be in class learning things. Um, it was also really good because everyone was participating in the conversation and the discussion um, and it was a lot more interactive than a normal classroom setting. We find that students who perhaps wouldn't speak up in a normal classroom get to say their piece and also feel as though they've been heard. It's not about technology for technology's sake. It's about preparing graduates to be uh, both practically and theoretically prepared to work in a virtual environment. 